First tonight, right place, right time. A local man trying to save animals from a dangerous propane warehouse fire bravely helps the worker who narrowly escaped death. ABC Action News reporter Ryan Smith in Sebring now as investigators work to figure out how a propane plant went up in flames. We've learned Monday's plant fire consumed 17 mobile homes. Tonight we're hearing from a local veterinarian who tells me he is blessed. His family business survived, somehow escaping with no damage when just a few feet away, as you can see, there is so much destruction. We heard a loud boom. There was already flames coming out of the building. Veterinarian Chris O'Sullivan, one of many forced to evacuate. And thankfully we only had three animals. Um, we were able to round them up pretty quickly. Definitely, we just left everything. While rushing pets out of the door, a man stumbles into the parking lot of Oak Hammock Animal Hospital covered in severe burns. He was still kind of shocky but coherent. Um, we asked him if he was okay. You know, obviously, in, the, in, in his state, I mean, any answer was good, a good answer. Wayne McCall was the only employee inside. He is my friend, and uh, I can't wait to give him a hug. Tonight, executives at the plant are praising McCall for potentially saving lives, saying the plant manager acted quickly, hitting an emergency shutoff valve inside the propane facility. Just wanted to tell him I was thinking about him, and if there's anything that we can do, uh, I'm in town. If it's taking his daughter to dance class or his boy to run track, I'll do whatever I need to do. Tonight, O'Sullivan is now thinking of the homes reduced to nothing but charred ruins next door. We could see the flames. They were 10 or 15 feet away from the building and thought for sure the building was going to go up. And we were just so lucky that, you know, we were okay. In Sebring, Ryan Smith, ABC Action News.